Hey gamers, Tony here from the ClassicLeague.com Gaming and Electronic Podcast, back with another unboxing. And I just received some brand new products that will be out in October from At Games, as you can see here. And uh, At Games, there's a lot of different gaming products, and I'm uh, very happy to be doing some unboxings and reviews for them. So every product you see in these unboxing videos will also be fully reviewed from a hardware and software perspective by me here at Classic Lee. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. With every unboxing, I do want to uh, first take a look at the box. So the very first thing I'm doing is talking about this product, which is the Sega Genesis Ultimate Portable Game Player. It's the newest version of the At Games uh, Portable Genesis Player. Now this isn't the first version they've released, but it is uh, their latest version, and it's the best version that they have. So they usually carry about two to three different versions of their portable handheld. Um, all with a various amount of games and features and so this is the highest end model that they do create and so let's go ahead and take a look at the box here uh, nothing much on the bottom portion there um, there is some licensing from Capcom and at games on the left side of the box on the back of the box it tells talk about some of the features which I'll be going over in the review um, but just a quick snapshot it contains 37 classic Sega Genesis games three Capcom games uh, you can download and play more games via the SD card, and since this is the Ultimate Edition, it does include uh, more than just the 37 games. It includes the 80 building games, and so you get some bonus games as well. Um, there's an SD car card slot, a 2.8 inch screen, uh, volume, mini USB, video out, power switch, earphones, and rechargeable battery pack. And so, as you can see, there is the SD card for you to put more Genesis games on which is awesome and then the rechargeable battery pack included and on the other side of the box um, just what the package includes there nothing much for ages 10 and over so the box is really sharp looking really cool looking uh, Ryu and Sonic um, on the front so let's go ahead and take a look on the inside and I haven't really taken these out of the box yet I've just cut the tape on the bottom so they'd be easier for the unboxing so nice flip top box here a uh, little piece of uh, padding there on the top and as you can see here just mainly plastic casing not much else in the box but let's go ahead and take a look so it does come with a, a standard micro USB cable uh, for your general recharging of the battery pack and things like that and then actually we have the device here so a tiny little device here but uh, pretty cool looking so here's our six buttons and the d-pad Everything feels pretty good, but I'm going to give it the full review treatment, as I mentioned. Um, on the bottom, we have the earphone jack, and then the on and off power button, followed by the menu button right here, the start pause button right here. I don't know if you can see those. Um, there seems to be a little bit of it. I don't know if I can peel that off right now. Sonic and Knuckles uh, sticker on the front there. Yep, so we can peel that off and see the 2.8 inch screen obviously the d-pad and the buttons there's a little lanyard spot here uh, rechargeable battery pack that it looks like you can replace on the back and uh, the volume up and down it's a little turn wheel knob the full-size SD card slot this is the AV out for the TV out and then the USB cable uh, for the charging so Pretty nifty little device there. Uh, be nice to have a little Sega that's in the pocket. There's also a little LED light there for the power. So uh, let's go ahead and see what else is in the box here. Nothing there. Here's our Ultimate Game Portable Player, which obviously will include Super Street Fighter 2, the new Challengers, and Mega Man, the Wily Wars. So pretty cool instruction booklet there. Free read through, and then in addition, the uh, Atari Fa Flashback 4, which is also coming out for Mad Games this year, and then also the Sega Genesis portable console, just a little flyer for those. And so I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, yep, that's pretty much everything that said that was going to be in the box. So uh, look for our full review of this device pretty, pretty soon. Um, was disappointed right away, it didn't come with an AV cable out, but uh, we'll talk about that more in the review. Uh, pretty cool little device here for Sega Genesis in the pocket, and I'm pretty excited to review it, but that has been our unboxing of the ultimate portable game player from At Games for the Sega Genesis. Uh, 
kind of retro throwback handheld there. And so we'll be taking a look at this in the review. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us over at g2po.com. This is Tony signing out.